Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you a really nice program called WinRAR or I'm going to talk to you about it. Uh, WinRAR is really really useful because it can compress files and add them to an archive which actually makes the files even smaller by putting them in an in a folder you could say and that folder makes them smaller and uh, WinRAR is the most used one. The next second uh, second most used one is Win uh, Seven Zip, which uh, makes uh, the Seven Z files, which are the best compressing ones, who compress the most. Uh, okay, so uh, let's add this file to an archive. Okay, so we're in a folder right now, and we want to add this. So we're just going to click, uh, right click it, the an empty space, and then New. And you'll see WinRAR, zip archive, or WinRAR archive. Okay, if you do not have WinRAR, uh, to follow the link in the description to get to download.com. Just click download now. The, uh, the install should begin, or you should get the set of file, just install, and you should get it. It may look a bit different for me because I have the 2008 Crystal Edition, while well, yours should look like books. So you have WinRAR, uh, zip archive, and WinRAR archive. Uh, the difference between these is WinRAR zip is the best, it's most compatible, I'd say, because um, Windows Explorer can actually read this file. And, uh, while on the other hand, WinRAR .rar files cannot be read by um, Windows Explorer. That's what. But on the other hand, RAR compresses even more, so the files become even smaller. We're just going to take a RAR archive. We're going to call it Mac. OS X cursor pack because that's the folder I have here and it says cursor what's that okay so cursor here Mac OS X cursor pack really simple you have an empty archive double click it and uh, there's nothing in it and right now the size is 20 kilobytes while this one let's see is 550 kilobytes so let's just add this to the archive and uh, well now it's still here we'll just go ahead and delete it and I need this file oh, wow. okay that's here we'll just open it and inside we have this file and uh, right now let's just go into check now it's 65.5 kilobytes that makes it like one third smaller no well, way smaller. It just compresses and makes it so small. And then you just click inside of it, and you have all these small cursors that was there were before inside the folder. Well, let's say you want to use it and uh, put it in uh, Windows Explorer. Really simple. You can either just drag it on to the folder you want. Let's just exit this, and it'll be here, and uh, it'll still be inside the archive. So we can go ahead and delete it again. Let's open and see. And here it is. Well, you can do is really compatible with. Uh, well, if you want to put them out of the archive, there is is really simple to actually extract them, as it's called, to another folder. Uh, let's say you want this folder only. Let, let's say there is two folders or something. Uh, we're just going to highlight the one we want, and we're going to get extract to desktop. Okay, and it should appear here. And you just extract it. What you also can do is, uh, well, let's go in Windows Explorer for a second. Uh, I don't know, documents. And by the way, this is Rocket Doc. And I'm not using Windows 7, it's just a theme. Uh, let's say, let's make a new folder in here. New folder. I'm going to take Win. RAR. I use this to, to uh, spare a lot of space on my computer, but uh, I use WinRAR for that. Okay, so here we are in this WinRAR folder. Just drag your archive in here, and it should be there instead. Okay, let's say we want this, uh, all the cursors to appear in this folder directly. Just right click, extract here. And the folder should come up. And it's open, and here are all the cursors. It works like that, and I mean, we can just go ahead and delete it, and it'll still be inside the archive. It is so useful, I mean, really great. And, um, you know, I use it a lot. 
so if you're a big time uploader and stuff, this is the thing for you to uh, put down your space. Or if you send emails and the files are too small, just send out a RAR archive or zip archive. Archive, archive. Sorry, I just keep saying ar archive. Weird. I don't even know what's right or wrong. <laughs> Weird. But in uh, this is a such a an awesome program. I mean, you should really get it if you don't. But yeah, this was just a really simple and quick video about WinRAR. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment this video and uh, rate it five stars if you liked it, four stars or under. If you didn't, and uh, well, let's just uh, delete my WinRAR here. Cause... Oh, where is it? Well, uh, so please subscribe to my channel if uh, this video helped you in any way, or uh, if you like some of my other videos. And uh, please go ahead and subscribe to my partner, Alex LA09, who has helped me through a lot. And uh, he makes pretty good tutorials, I'd say. He has currently made a video about getting fireworks free. He has made a video on a trans the transparent watermark I have down here or somewhere. He has made a video about Rocket Dog and quite a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, that was it for a day, guys.